Hello aquaponics growers, today I'm going to show you my aquaponics fish. So we're going to see some silver perch and catfish. My name is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics and my aim is to help you to grow sustainable and tasty food in your own backyard thanks to aquaponics. So I received several requests to show you my fish. So today I'm going to catch a few and we're going to have a look uh, at the size of the fish and the different species that we are growing. Uh, before we start the video, please subscribe to the channel and give it a like. So let's catch a few of them. So I got here a bucket with some water and I'm going to start to catch a few. So here we got uh, silver perch uh, that are Australian native fish. So you can see there are different sizes and they are probably uh, the biggest one are probably four years old already. So you see that the fish that take a while to grow. Um, well, they are almost spread size for the biggest ones. The smallest one are going to take a bit longer. So I already made some video about uh, silver perch. It's a, it's a fish that is very social and uh, can grow to a, a very nice size if you leave it the time. Uh, and what is interesting is that you can, as it's social, you can have different sizes. So you can leave the fish all together. Obviously, uh, the, more, the more variation you have in the size of the fish and, um, and the less growth you're going to have, right? If you want to maximize the growth, it's better to have all fish the same size. But if you don't really mind about uh, the productivity of the system, then you can have different sizes. So you can always harvest a few fish and you put f a few new ones every year. And therefore you always can um, harvest fish in your setup. Uh, the catfish that is here is an interesting fish. It's called uh, Tandanus Tandanus. It's a uh, it's ill-tailed catfish. It's also an Australian native native fish, and you can really see the tail. You see how he's swimming. It really looks like an eel. It's also a very friendly fish to have. You see, I got it with the silver perch, and it's not a problem at all. They go really well together. And this fish can also reach a, a very decent size. So you can see around the head, it's called a catfish because it's got this uh, this kind of moustache. It's little uh, kind of antennas uh, that are on both sides of the mouse and it allows him to detect any food that is uh, present in the tank. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fish a few of them and uh, I'm just going to try to show you the, the actual size of the fish and then I'm going to wait a few to be able to know exactly the type of biomass I have in my tank. So if you want to know why we do that, have a look at the biomass video, how to calculate your fish biomass. It's very important actually to understand the capacity of your system if you, if you still can have a bit more fish or if you have to, to harvest or to sell or to give a, a few of them. And you see the fins are in perfect conditions. So it's a very big difference with a fish uh, that is raised uh, in aquaculture in big density. Here you see the fins are really nice. So you see that this fish is in excellent condition. So now I'm going to wait it to see the size exactly of this fish. Okay, so now the fish is into the, into the bucket of water and we can see the weight is 328 grams. 328 grams for this fish. So yeah, that's bed size. You see, that's a, it takes the whole size of the bucket. Really, really, really nice fish. And you can see the fins are in really good shape as well. So it's very important. So again, the fins 
the fins are really, really, really good, in really good condition. So if you don't, don't know how to handle the fish, I also made a video where I explain the few things that are very important when you handle a fish. Uh, because you know you always got some risk to uh, fall a fish down. So in, in a special video, I, I really explain what are the, the important things when you want to handle the fish in good conditions, in whole safety. So you know when you, when you handle the silver perch, you also have to be a bit careful because it's a perch. You know, we call it perch. And uh, why? It's because on the fins here, they got some very, very strong spikes. So just be careful when you, when you handle it, because if you put your hands through here, it's going to be very painful. Same for the, for the anal. This one here, the fin here, you got a very, very strong bone. So be careful when you handle this type of fish. So I'm going to put it back, I'm going to release it into the tank and we're going to have a look at the catfish. So same thing here, you see I put the, the bucket and I'm going to tar the scale. So now I know it's zero. So if I add the, the, the catfish I'm going to know the exact weight of the catfish. So right now I'm just going to try to catch the catfish. Okay, here we are. So you see the catfish is only 90 grams. So it's still a, a bit bit, right? A bit small. We are not going to eat it right now. Uh, but you see it's a really nice fish again. You can really see the morphology of the fish, the shape of the fish with the eyes on the top of the, of the head and obviously um, the moustache or the, the antennas on the side. Also it's a fish that is, uh, hasn't got any scale, right? So the skin is exposed, not like the, uh, the silver perch. Silver perch, they got scales all along the body. For the catfish here, it doesn't have any scale, it's just the skin. So be very careful when you, when you touch this type of fish because uh, as I showed you on the silver perch, they have some fins, uh, some, uh, some bones outside, so they, can, they, they have some spines and they can really uh, perforate your, your skin, make a hole in your skin. The catfish is the same thing, it's even way worse, because uh, to protect itself from all predators, it's got three very, very strong spines around the head, so one on the pectoral fin, on this fin here, and one on the side fins. And when he moves like this, when I, what he just did right before, he's trying to go through my skin with his pins, so I can really feel them. Those colors are just wonderful. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna release this guy because he's pretty stressed now and I'm gonna release in the tank. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was just a few fish that we have here at the moment. You are also able to grow other fish such as trout, uh, yabbies, uh, crustaceans. A lot of different things can be grown in aquaponics and it really depends on the area where you live and the weather condition you have. Basically the temperature that you're going to be able to offer to your fish. So uh, look around in the fish farms around or even in the river and you will be able definitely to find some fish to grow in aquaponics. 
uh, you always got the option as well to grow some ornamental fish such as uh, um, goldfish you know or even then depending on where you live you can maybe grow koi carps or other type of fish so you don't have to eat the fish you can also grow some fish that you want to just grow for fun and uh, just to display because you like to see them and you enjoy the colors so if you enjoy the video uh, please subscribe to the channel and give it a like and uh, i got in the description of the video just below a free training for you it's a six step guide to help you to build your own aquaponics setup but also to manage it in the best condition so if you haven't started aquaponics yet this training is definitely for you it's completely free so get it and if you have started uh, but if you sometimes have some challenges to manage the setup or to deal with the water parameters or other things of this type just get the set the training as well because i give you some free information to really balance the system in the best way so again i hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one bye bye don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!